Good morning guys, happy vlogmas day six. Today is a full on errand day. Yesterday was my last day at my internship for the semester. So now today I have the time to do all my errands. I have to ship something out. I have to go to the grocery store. I have to return some things at Waterford. Oh, and I'm getting braces today. Okay, technically it's not really braces, but I am getting invisible trays. So I'm not doing Invisalign, I actually did it four years ago, um, my senior year in high school, I did Invisalign, but now I'm doing like an off brand. I will let you guys know what the brand is, um, but I'm really excited because I'm actually getting the trays today. I went in before Thanksgiving break to get sized for them and they said it would take like four to six weeks or like six to eight weeks, I'm not really sure. Something like crazy and I was like, <laughs> okay, like <laughs> trying to be patient and everything. And then like when I got back from break, which was like two weeks after, they were like, oh, we have them. Like you can set an appointment up. So the earliest they had was this Thursday. Otherwise I would have gone like ASAP to get them. But I think I'm gonna like officially start them on Friday or like tonight. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. The mailing center literally almost always gives me a heart attack just because, first of all, I did not expect that many people to be in there, but, like, obviously it's holiday season, so, like, I don't know what I was thinking going in there, but I had to, so, like, whatever. They now have, like, self-serving, um, like, postage printing things, so I tried it out today because I didn't want to look dumb, and I feel like a lot of the workers there are condescending, but I finally had a nice lady. So, I'm at orthodontics and I'm getting my Invisalign trays. I'm just gonna call it an Invisalign because like it's just easier to say it that way. I don't even know what company I'm getting but anyways I'm getting the off brand like I said and before I go in I just wanted to kind of like point out why I'm getting it because like my teeth aren't too bad like every time I tell my friends I'm getting them they're like what like your teeth are like straight and I'm like I guess, but like, I want them to be even better, you know what I mean? So, like I said, I got my Invisalign senior year of high school, and I'm getting it again senior year of college, and the reason why is because in between that time that I didn't have it, um, I got my wisdom teeth in, and it uh, messed it all up. So, like down here, you can see there's like really bad crowding, and that's like what the wisdom teeth did, and then up here, these like this tooth and this tooth went back and like kind of up and so i want them like pulled out you know does that make sense but this is like the one that really bothers me because you can see it it like this one goes like behind that tooth and sometimes it gets really really sensitive and i just like know i want to fix it so here I am, getting it fixed. I know this will be a very painful journey, but my motto for life is beauty is pain. So let's do this. I am like so pissed right now because I went in there and I saw the trays and I immediately realized that it was like not what I asked for. Um, so the reason why I went with the off brand is because, um, my friend just got it and she said that they could put the attachments on the back and, um, I specifically asked for that like a million times actually. And when I got in there and I saw that they were on the front and I was like, I literally asked for them on the back and I guess she was just like, oh yeah, I guess it was a mistake. And I was like, yeah, so like what now? And she was like, yeah, he's, like, literally placing an order for, like, the new ones right now. And it's probably going to take, like, another two weeks or whatever. And I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to be here for, like, a month. So, so, so amazing. They've made me wait so freaking long sometimes. And, like, one time their x-ray wasn't working. And, like, I just don't know. Every time I go there, it's, like, not that great of an experience. And I'm like what i don't know i'm just like so frustrated i'm probably getting teary-eyed right now because i'm just so frustrated with them it's not like it's just this one time that they fucked up like it's just like every time they just make me so mad so like you're probably thinking like oh why'd you go with this orthodontist well i don't know because i'm stupid so and i can't really do anything about it now so great so i think to pick myself up i'm gonna go into target and look at some christmas decor that i probably won't buy but you know that could 
just make me a little bit happier. What I found in the dollar section of Target. This is the cutest little trendiest thing. So I bought a couple of them. Nothing can make me happier than Chip and Joe and their Target line. It's all so cute. So I just got done at Target and I'll try to do a Target haul later on. But guys, guess what? Okay, so Laura was trying to FaceTime me in Target and I didn't see it. Um, and then I tried calling her and then she like didn't answer. And then I texted her, what's up? And then she like FaceTimed me again and I was like out of Target. So I answered and I was like, hey, what's up? And she was like, guess what? And I was like, oh my God, because she got the job. She freaking got the dream job in New York City. Like I'm so excited for her. Like I just want to live vicariously through her. Like I'm so freaking excited. And it's so funny because like we were talking last night and we vlogged it and um, we were just talking about the position and stuff and I felt bad because I felt like I was like gonna jinx her or she was gonna jinx herself or whatever. But I'm so, so excited. I'm glad we vlogged it. Like it's exciting to like have those memories, like what you thought of before and like now she's in the job, you know? So anyways, that's really exciting news. Next stop is Victoria's Secret. I have a coupon. It's like $20 reward card off of a $50 purchase and I know exactly what I'm going to get. I've had my eye on these sweatpants for so long. My favorite sweatpants are from Victoria's Secret. Um, so I'm going to go redeem this. I swear sometimes, you know, when you just have those days where nothing's going to plan, nothing's going right. They didn't even have my sweatpants and I swear I've seen them the past like four times I went in there like throughout like the past two months and like randomly they just got rid of them and I was like mm -hmm, okay great of course that would happen to me um so hopefully maybe like another store has them so maybe I'll just like wait to go home but I really wanted to use this coupon ASAP so I don't forget about it I'm just trying to do some retail therapy and everything's standing in my way I mean Target didn't really count because those were necessities not really anything fun that I got, so, except for um, Hershey Kisses, the peppermint ones, yeah, those are addicting, and I got some. But we're gonna go into Ulta, I have, I'm pretty sure there's a coupon out, yeah, 20% off, I'm pretty sure. And I definitely wanna get Dolce K, the Kylie Jenner matte lipstick, or liquid lipstick. I absolutely love that color on me, and mine's so dried up, and it's like so old, and I wonder if the formula is better now, because when I bought that one, it was like right when she came out with that color, so I'm actually really curious to see. And I've always wanted brown sugar, but I never wanted to buy it, because I kind of thought it wouldn't look good on my skin, so now I can try it out in store. Then after, I think I'm gonna get Fresh Kitchen for lunch, because I think I'm gonna miss meal plan. <laughs> Alright guys, probably my last errand in the Waterford Lakes area will be Sephora. I can never pass it up when I'm in the area to have time. Um, oh wait, just kidding. I'm going to Fresh Kitchen after this, but that's like food. That's not really an errand, so. I'm not really sure what I want to get, but I think I might buy myself a perfume just because I haven't had like a nice perfume in a while. Um, and I have like a really good coupon for Sephora, so I want to use it. Guys, I'm actually proud of myself because I went perfume shopping and bought one. I'll share with you guys later what I got. Um, but I'm going to get some Fresh Kitchen. It's like two and I haven't eaten. So, yeah. <laughs> so this is what I got. I got a six bowl because I'm super freaking hungry. Hey guys, so I just got back from my grad shoot and it went so, so well. She's actually the first person that I didn't know before I shot her. So it was like super interesting and I was kind of scared because I feel like I'm more comfortable like directing people I know like people in my sorority but I think I did pretty well with like a stranger that I just met and she was super super nice and cool and I think the pictures turned out really really cool also we went to Valkyrie Donuts as one of her grad shoot locations and it actually turned out really cute but now I promised you guys a haul so you're gonna get a haul I'm gonna start with Ulta because I want to use one of the products right now so let's dig in I got two things. So the first one, you already know that I needed this and wanted this. This is the Dolce K by Kylie. And I totally forgot that they don't sell like the single, oops, <laughs> they don't sell the single like liquid lipstick. So I had to get the lip kit, which was a lot more expensive than I like was planning on paying for. But honestly, it was worth it because I've been wanting it for a really long time. So it came with a lip liner and a liquid lipstick. I don't really need the lip liner, but like whatever, I'll just take it because they paid for it. I'll use it but you know whatever this is what I really wanted and it's it's definitely not dry like my other one my other one is so dried out there's like barely any product in there which I didn't even think I like used it all but like maybe it dried out because I 
it's been a while since I've had it, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Let's see how the new one applies. I was actually really curious to see if it's different. I guess it doesn't really feel that different, but I was hoping maybe. I feel like the other one kind of gave me some lip crusties. Um, so we will see about this. But I think it's like the perfect color for me. I feel like I say that about like a lot of lipsticks that I like, but this is like more of like a pinky brown. All right, the thing that I dropped was this Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray. Um, the girl in Ulta recommended me this because whenever I blow dry my hair, like now that my hair is short, I just really like to blow dry it because it looks really good. Um, but when I put it in the time and effort, it's really annoying because my hair doesn't really stay like that. So I asked her what are the best products to keep my hair like that for like days. Um, and she said to start off with like a primer. Right now we're going to do a Target haul and this is a very like necessity haul. But I'm just going to share with you anyways. Alright, first I got these hair ties and my mom has been like telling me about these like thicker hair ties. She gave me one but I freaking lost it. If you guys watched my last vlog, you know I have been addicted to these and I'm running out. So gotta get more of these. Update on the lipstick. My lips feel insanely dry right now. Like, it's kind of gross. The next thing is the Dove body wash. I just needed some new body wash. Next, I got Honeycrisp apples. And then the really fun thing, if you guys have seen my room tour, then you guys would know I'm kind of like obsessed with stars right now. It's just like the new trendy thing. Um, so I found these in the dollar section of Target. I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet, but I think one would look good on my shelves over there. Um, and then I think I'm going to take the others home and do something with them in my room because at my dad's house like it, it's not really decorated yet so I want to like spend winter break maybe decorating it a bit more. So on to Sephora I got my first ever Whey hair product. This is so exciting because obviously like it's been around for quite a bit of time and I've heard so much about it so I finally caved in. I got the texturizing hairspray and I really hope it's like all that it's cracked up to be because I do have like other texturizing hairsprays but like I was like okay you know what it's way like gotta try it out and then the Sephora lady showed me this other um product it was called the memory mist and it was like insane it blew my mind she put her hair like this and then like sprayed it and it literally stayed like that and I was like shook so I think that's really gonna help my blowouts um but please if you guys blow out your hair and you have recommendations for products please 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 let me know like I was looking into dry bar but I just don't know what to get um and I just basically need like a spray that like holds it all together for like more than one day or like I feel like when I blow dry my hair my hair falls and doesn't look as good like maybe even like three hours after I do it so literally like anything that can last longer than three hours like send me your recs please 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 okay the next thing and i guess the last thing i got was this perfume i kind of splurged because perfumes are not very cheap um but this is the elizabeth james nirvana vanilla bourbon and i guess i should open it up because i want to wear it tonight picking this perfume was probably one of the hardest decisions of my life it's just like there's so many to choose from and I just maybe I don't know what smell I like maybe I like that floral scent tomorrow but like not today I don't know it's actually kind of a cool container like I'm not gonna lie when I was sniffing the perfumes I went for perfumes that were more girly and like you know like had really cool packaging like I was thinking about like taking an insta pic you know but it's fine this will this will do it looks like a grandma's perfume but it also looks kind of like badass bitch I'm like you know in my late 20s and i'm using a really bougie perfume so let's go with that one except that i'm not in my late 20s but okay i'm hoping that i still like it because like god bless it's really strong at first i don't know why i did that it's not bad. I feel like whenever I pick out a perfume, I want to know if like my friends and my boyfriend likes it because I feel like they're the ones that are smelling it because after I spray it on, I smell for like a second that I don't smell it. And I guess that is it of everything I got today. Um, I'm going to start getting ready. I have to change and just maybe like touch up my hair a little bit. Maybe I'll use the Way Texturizing Hairspray. We'll see what this can do for me. Tonight, me and my friends are celebrating my birthday because I haven't done anything with them. Um, we are going to 
Agave Azul. I think that's what it's called. It's in Winter Park. It's a Mexican restaurant and it looks amazing. It's been on my Yelp bookmark list for like over a year now. Alright guys, so I just kind of like recurled some pieces like on the top. And I'm just gonna brush them out. Then I'm gonna go in with this. Hopefully it works. Let's see. I feel it like it looks more fluffy. It smells good. Okay, it's definitely doing something. Like, I see it more getting... I don't know. So, I accidentally went to the wrong Agave Azul. Actually, I didn't go there, but, like, we were, like, a good 10 minutes away. And it was, like, a 40-minute drive. But the one we wanted to go to was in a winter park, which is, like, a 20, maybe 25, 30-minute drive. Anyways, my dumbass. Now we're here, so... So we're back from dinner. We just got to the Katie house and it was pretty good. It was a lot of food. Yeah. yeah. They got me a spa bar gift card, which is so cool because I haven't had a facial from them in so long. So I'm gonna get it in the new year and just be like a new gal. We have really good news. Charlotte's done with grad apps. Megan just passed her PR exam. Kaylin, what's yours? She's done with finals. I'm done She's with done finals. with finals. And I, I'm doing good. Yeah. And me? <laughs> also passed scores. Oh, yeah. She I passed. Yeah. classes. <laughs> that was is it bad goal. that we're saying pass and not just like, she passed. I got a good grade, but I passed. Pass. It is a good she grade. Passed. It's a good grade if you yeah. pass. Yeah. Pass Honestly. Yeah, exactly. Like, she doesn't need to do any better than that. Why? No. Thank you. Thank I you. I support it. I would do that if, I, if it didn't Thank matter. You. I appreciate yeah. that. Looking all I need is this, all I need is support, yeah. Yeah. Molly has that mole on her hand, so that's what keeps her going. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, Kaylin, you, you weren't there. So God. one time, one time we all went out downtown. Where was it? Oh, because we were, we were visiting Darby at work. And why wasn't I there? I was there. You just weren't outside. You weren't for, oh, for the psychic part. Yeah. We got our oh, cards read. Okay, yeah, so we got inside. our cards read by this girl that like was just outside like reading cards and we were like, hey, can we get our cards read? And that was like the first time I've gotten my cards read, I think. And she said <sighs> that I have a lucky mole. And that's all. The mole say just that. means that well, you I will thought... always have money. Yeah. Oh, right? I thought it was just luckiness. No, she no, said like, was, like good you'll with money. never have money problems. Like it's yeah. like a good fortune and like monetary. So wait, mole? No, not that they have a fucking fucking blessed, blessed by the mole. Honestly, blessed by the mole. Wait, do they read both your hands or one? Yeah, they read both my hands. And she noticed the mole. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess it's not really that much on the side. It's kind of more. On That's the pretty side. noticeable. Yeah. Like, I want to go to a real one. one. No, yeah, me too. Kind of too. too There's but. one like right near our house, I think. Like, mm -hmm. if you turn left onto Colonial, I'd be scared to go it. into a house, okay. though. No, yeah. it's not a yeah, house. I mean, it's like a oh. usually houses. No, I want to oh. go to ones with, like, good reviews. Like, one that Sydney or Hannah went to. Like, those were so oh. accurate. I, I think know. that would freak me That's out. scary, though. I kind of want to go now. I feel like a year ago I wasn't, like, ready, but I feel like now I kind of am. Yeah. I want to go, but I don't want to ask about anything too crazy. Right. Like, I no, want to know like, really when wanna, do I die. I don't really want to ask questions. I kind of just want to, like, hear what they have to say. Yeah. 
I just kind of want to know ask career. questions. You're giving them too much information. Yeah, 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 yeah. just like, career. Yeah, I literally yeah, just want to know honestly. what I'm going to be freaking doing my the okay, next but like I did ten do years. The, I, wait, is there any dessert in KB? Yeah, yeah. Rice Krispies. Rice Krispies. Oh, can we get some? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna end the vlog. Vlogmas day six is a wrap. Is it the sixth? I'm guessing it's so. the fifth. Shut um, up! It is not. No, it's a six. Is it really? Yes, it's because a six. I'm editing <laughs> well, vlog with say five for one day. She doesn't even oh, know what, yeah. what day it is. So I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. 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 Bye.